The Fans for Food Bank project is a collaborative between the Warrington Wolves um, Supporters Trust, the Warrington Wolves Charitable Foundation and the club itself. It's to support um, people in need in the town and to support the established food banks which is Warrington Food Bank and Friends of Meadowside. So this project will be to collect, uh, for, give the fans an opportunity to donate items that are needed and these can be collected on match day. I think it's really important for the players to have an appreciation of what the community is going through, especially within the local area like Warrington. Um, a lot of those people are, are our fans too, so um, if our players can help in any way then I think it's going to aid to their development too. Obviously we're going through some tough times at the moment and uh, well, these guys more than ever and um, for everyone that's coming out to the game, it'll be nice for them that, you know, if they can, you know, bring a tin of food or, you know, some toiletries to help out in, in this area. So, nah, yeah, if, if, if they can, you know, that's awesome. If they can't, that's awesome. But yeah, and if, you know, they want to lend a hand over here, so they'll be very welcomed. It's, it's very eye-opening. Uh, it really is when you see the depths of what goes on here. Um, you know, the first, first time they, they started this, I, I could be wrong, but there was a three tonne of food come through in the first year. Uh, they're a few years on now, and I, don't quote me on the numbers, but 139 tonne now they're up to. So it be good to see that, just that number keep growing. Um, fingers crossed, but I know this community is good and, and they'll look after each other. Because of the current situation of what's in front of us, the people we are seeing through the week um, are asking us, what do I do? from the 1st of April? Do I uh, stay in bed longer? Do I get up and have a ready meal and go back to bed? I can't put my television on, what will I do? Can you help me with food so I can pay um, my electricity bills or my gas bill? Um, and so we are seeing more and more people who are needed to use this facility. Our numbers have increased uh, since the end uh, of the lockdown situation, we have seen that we have increased by about 35% the number of people who are using food banks. Uh, and we can only see that increasing even further. Friends of Medicide is a wraparound welfare support service. We cover everything from uh, independent food bank. We've got a community shop. The, the need has been there for such a long time now. Um, and it was set up by my wife four years ago with two trays of food out the back of a car um, at Meadowside Primary. We're now shifting on average about 350 green trays of food a week free um, to support the families that need it. In our immediate community, Orford and Longford, um, there is a crisis uh, which has been building and building and building. We're, we're in an area where it's in the top 10% of deprived areas in the UK um, and people need the help. We'll support families, we'll support individuals, we support the homeless and these just aren't people on benefits, these are people who are working full time. We're helping teachers, we have PCSOs coming in, we have professional people, NHS staff, we get a lot of NHS staff who are struggling. So it's about getting the food out to them. Warrington Wolves supporters, uh, people of Warrington, we just absolutely cry out to you for help. Every tin of beans counts. Every tin, every packet, whether it's beans, tomato, soup, biscuits, whatever, we are grateful to receive.